For this recipe, you will use dehydrated white fungus, also known as snow fungus, as your cow's stomach substitute for a healthier plant-based meal. You need nixtamal, also known as maiz blanco pozolero, some people call it grano or choclo, in English it is known as hominy. Make sure you add king oyster mushrooms, these will add so much texture and flavor to your dish. You will need a few onions, one will go in the menudo sauce or the caldo and the other will be used as garnish. Chile seco will also be used in the sauce or the caldo. You can add different types of chile seco like guajillo, pasilla, colorado, that will really depend on your preference. Some fresh cilantro will be perfect as garnish at the end as well. You will season your caldo with some pink Himalayan salt, oregano, a few dried bay leaves, and some vegetable broth. Here I am using Teresita's natural 100% sazonador vegetal. It is seriously the best sazonador I have found in the market. It is in powdered form and it is just amazing. You need some garlic and of course some lime which we will squeeze in our menudo at the end. Okay so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wash your nixtamal so many times until the water is crystal clear. <laughs> Boil your granos. Make sure you do this part first because the granos are going to take a long time to cook. You want to make sure you have enough water so that the granos are completely covered in water. And this will be your caldo, so you want to make sure you have enough water. And at the end, just add salt as needed. Now we're going to start preparing the salsa for the caldo. You're going to chop up some garlic. Actually, you don't have to chop up the garlic because we're going to add it in the blender, but I chopped it anyway. You're going to need some onions. And again, you don't have to chop them. You can just throw them in there. My mom is washing the chile secos while I do that. Uh, some people actually roast the chiles and the semillas, but we're just going to wash them just to make it easier on ourselves. Okay, then you're going to add everything in your blender, your onions, your chile seco. You're also going to add your chopped up garlic, which you don't need to chop. <laughs> and you're going to add your bay leaves and you're also going to add some oregano, oregano gonna look beautiful and colorful add a little bit of water so that it, it is easier to blend and then blend away once it is completely blended add it to your boiling granos while that is cooking we're gonna prepare our fungus this dehydrated fungus should be soaked in water for 30 minutes to an hour until it becomes gelatinously soft and this is what we're gonna use as our menudo. We're gonna soak it and I've never used this before so we'll see how it turns out. While the fungus is hydrating, we will prepare our king oyster mushrooms. Chop them up and throw them on high, high heat. Stir them, toss and turn them so they don't burn on you. Eventually, they will release some water on their own, and after the water dries up, they will be about ready. Once they look nice and roasted, you're going to add some seasonings like some salt or some black pepper, some garlic powder, anything that you like. Mm. We're going to have to give it a taste test. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look, the consistency now is kind of gelatinous, as I mentioned. Wow. It was dry before, now it's... I don't know if you can tell by the... But it's just like menudo. The menudo is actually the cow's belly, but obviously we don't want to eat that. We don't eat our friends. So we're using this fungus. It has the same, same texture as the cow's stomach, so... Very neat. 
Now we're gonna start getting everything ready to garnish our soup and we'll start by chopping off some cilantro and then you're gonna dice your onion very very finely mm -hmm. once your grano is soft to the bite you're gonna add your hydrated fungus and your king oyster mushrooms so this is the final result garnish it with some cilantro some onions limoncito <laughs> Mm, my mouth is watering right now. And then you eat it with some tortillas like Joe. Oh, how is it? Good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. 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 Más, tu comida siempre es la mejor que la que compramos. Obvio. Qué bueno, mi hijo. Qué chiste. Está bien bueno. Está muy rico. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more recipes.